Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty-free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today I am going to do a video. I don't know if I'm nervous about this or not. Maybe I'm a little bit, maybe I am not. Maybe just a tiny bit. <laughs> As you've seen on the title, I am going to talk about the difference between Swedish YouTubers and... I don't know if I'm going to say US YouTubers, English speaking YouTubers... I don't know. But yeah, I am going to do a good run with me today and talk about some differences that I see and... Maybe also a little bit why I wanted to... if you didn't know this... okay. Maybe I should just start. I'm going to use this palette today. This is making it flawless um, with a Swedish brand called Gloss Gods. This is a collab palette with Samira. Um, yeah, she's a Swedish influencer, kind of. And the palette looks like this. Now I want to do something kind of dark today and green. So I think I will focus on these two shades so the black and matte green and also this shimmer green so I am not going to talk about the shades when I use them I'm just going to do my makeup and you just have to watch me or if you don't want to watch me that is okay as well <laughs> so if you didn't know I'm from Sweden I guess you can hear that or that I'm not English, like English isn't my first language. Should the same and maybe I should... I'm sorry, I'm just going to put this on. Do not disturb me. It's my smartwatch. <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm talking about. Yeah, so okay, I am from Sweden and if you didn't know, before I did have my channel in Swedish. And why I changed it, I thought that I can talk about that. And I also want to talk about the difference I'm seeing and like the biggest disclaimer ever. I am not talking about any specific person. And I'm not talking, it's just like my point of view with this. So if you don't agree with me, that is totally fine. But like what I have noticed and also I am in a certain like community on YouTube. So I do not know what's on the whole YouTube, but like my little community and what's in my recommendation feed and everything. So maybe... I should start talking about why I have my... why well, I did go over to English and like the simplest thing is that Sweden <laughs> in Sweden like makeup channels isn't that big and especially not like colorful makeup channels it's more like neutral makeup channels and like doing a smoky eye and there is some channels in Sweden that do a little bit more colorful makeup that are a little bit bigger and also yes when I talk about the big Swedish channel it's not the same as in the US in Sweden we are 9 million 10 million and uh, it's a little bit different from the US so just have that in mind. So a big channel in Sweden isn't the same as a big channel in the US. But okay, back <laughs> to the thing. I did both makeup videos and also vlogs and stuff. And I really wanted to go more into makeup. And I was like, okay, I. it's going to be hard for me to find a community on YouTube that loves colorful makeup that are in Sweden or in Swedish. It's going to be easier for me to do it if I have my channel in English. And that was like the main reason. And also 
I started to look at more English speaking channels than I did before because I wanted the colorful makeup and more makeup like overall and then I was like okay if I'm going to watch mostly English speaking channels and I'd rather be a part of this community and uh, yeah that was like the main reason why I changed my channel to English and I'm happy about the choice I do not regret it I have found so many friends and most of the time I really feel like I'm part of a little community on YouTube and that makes me so happy okay now we'll see how this black is hopefully not too dark And I think that is like, in Sweden, the biggest thing is like lifestyle channels and vlogging channels. And I guess that is what people want to see, the most of the people at least. And I, I get it also. It's like, how many vlogging channels do we need? I have nothing against vlogging channels, I watch some of them, but it's like every damn YouTuber that goes big in Sweden, like, turn over to vlogging and lifestyle. And I, I get it. You make the most money of it, you grow the most with it, so I get that, but at the same time, it's not that fun. And I also feel... When it comes to makeup on YouTube, when I watch Swedish makeup channels, it's really like concentrated like how you do makeup. It's more like a tutorial style versus when I watch an English makeup video. It's like this is an inspiration video or just like a get ready with me. And it's not that much in Sweden with that. And I think that Sweden is more like, this is how you should do your makeup. It feels like it's a little bit more rules in Sweden. And I watched some like makeup channels in Sweden more than one. That is like, this is how you should do contour. You can do whatever you want, but this is the right way and you're doing it the wrong way. Like literally, people have said it and that like bugs me. I know that there is a certain way that contour looks better. I totally get it, but to sit and say that this is the right way. You can do whatever you want, but this is the right way. That annoys the crap out of me. And I don't feel it <laughs> that much with English speaking YouTuber YouTubers. It's more like an inspiration than rules. Do I make any sense? I hope so. And also it feels like in Sweden you really have to like put your mind into it. It feels like in Sweden YouTube is a work. Like if you're going to do YouTube, you have to live out of it. I know there is people that are like me that has it as their hobbies, but it feels like the most is like, if you're going to do YouTube, you have to make money out of it and you have to have it like your work. And that is so annoying. And also one thing, I don't know, the other Swedes that are watching me. The bigger a Swedish YouTuber get, this is not always the case, but very often, the lesser videos they put up. And they always like... I do much work behind the camera that you don't see. And that's why I can't put up many videos. But they never like show the work behind the camera and also like, but you had work 
and YouTube before and then you could put up like five videos a week and now don't <laughs> and just for you to get like the biggest s Swedish speaking channel she puts up one video a week and there is other bigger youtubers in Sweden that I follow they put up maybe two videos a month and it's so hard for me to like you have this as a work and you want to take to be taken seriously that this is your work and you put up a video every other week that is hard for me to understand but <laughs> yeah I guess that we all have our struggles but at the same time I don't really get it and that I feel like in the beauty community that I'm a part of on YouTube the English speaking it's not the same thing here people like put up more videos than the sweets do and of course there are exceptions for this but it's like a common thing the bigger Swedish youtuber get the lesser videos they put up and I know some of like the biggest youtubers on YouTube doesn't post that much as well I know that but it's just the thing that has bugged me and is this just a complaining video right now? I guess so but it has really like it annoys me and especially when when some people that I follow has been like okay I'm going to have YouTube as my full time work now and they put up lesser videos and then I'm like okay you couldn't like treat a normal working place like this or a normal job like this because then you would get fired i think it sounds so freaking mean and i'm sorry but it just bugs me a little bit this is a little bit darker than i expected a little bit like dirtier than i expected it i think it is Maybe I just need a base to it and a lip and uh, some eyebrows. Another thing that I think Swedish YouTubers do more than English YouTubers, men hörde. They are like defending themselves either when it comes to buy like expensive makeup or putting up less videos they always have to defend themselves and I don't know if that is like a Swedish thing if you didn't know this in Sweden you shouldn't talk about money like that is a I don't know what it's called but that is just like a thing you don't do you never talk about money you never talk about how much you make you don't talk about how much you bought your house for, how expensive your car is. That is just things you never talk about in Sweden. And I think that people then like have to defend themselves, like having a big makeup collection or buying an expensive eyeshadow palette or something. Swedes do often defend themselves think about this look I have actually no idea I think it's it feels kind of much more darker than I wanted it to be but at the same time I did use a black eyeshadow so I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> I'm going to be totally honest I'm just going in with a clean brush to try to fix this I don't know how though but Mm. I'm not super happy so far, but I think I need, I think I need something more. Okay, so I did just put on my 
foundation, my concealer, and I set my concealer under my eyes. Another thing with Swedish YouTube world that annoys the crap out of me. Okay, so this just have become things that annoy me with Swedish YouTube. Maybe it has. <laughs> it is when it comes to collabs. People always want to gain something in doing a collab. Like, people don't want to do collabs with people that have less followers than them. They want to do it with someone that have kind of like the same amount. And for me, now I am a small YouTuber, so maybe I don't have a say in this. But like, if I want to do a collab with someone, I'm just going to do it. I don't care how many subscribers you have. You can have like 10. If I want to do a collab with you, I am going to. But that is not that common. And I just feel like... In Sweden it is... It is just one be beauty community. It's just one YouTube community. And that is for the big YouTubers. And it's like they are normal people that want to do it as well. Maybe it's just that simple time not... <laughs> that much in the Swedish YouTube sphere anymore so maybe I missed it but like what I remember from when I had my channel in Swedish and also like what I'm seeing it is not the same and if you don't agree with me, that is totally fine. Maybe you are from Sweden. Maybe you have a wonderful little community that you are within. That is super good. But I felt like for me, there isn't a place for it. And I feel like if I would have done a makeup look like this, most people would have been like, that is a little bit too much. And of course, there is influencers and Swedish YouTubers that does look like this, but it's not super common. I never have like thinking about going back to doing videos in Swedish. The only thing that would be so much easier is that Swedish is my first language. And sometimes it feels like with English that I can't like... The words doesn't come out that good as it would if I would talk Swedish, but maybe that isn't that strange. And I know that you often know what I want to say and you often understand me, so it maybe isn't a problem. But <laughs> that is like the only thing that would have been so much easier. And like one of the biggest things that I would miss if I would go back to Swedish, which I'm not going to, but in Sweden, you people don't talk about like indie brands that much. And like the smaller indie brands, of course, people talk about Nabla and Colourpop, if you can call them an indie brand, and like Linda Harburg. But like Shroud, Menagerie. Nobody talks about them and they are so big like in the beauty world like Lun Lunar Beauty nobody talks about that much at all in Sweden maybe because it's a little bit expensive to get the things and Sweden is getting better and better with having like more colorful makeup But it's not at all like the same thing. And like my channel, it's really like a lot within brands. Maybe that is one of the biggest difference. And it would be fun to hear like from my fellow Swedes that does videos in English. Why you choosing to do it in English? Is it because 
you know that you would grow much more? Is it because you want to be a part of this community and not the tiny little Swedish beauty community? What is it? It would be fun to know actually. And I know a lot of people that I follow that are fellow Swedes that they have never done like videos in Swedish. Some of them I don't even know how they sound <laughs> when they talk Swedish. But like I started my channel, I think it was like seven years ago. And then it wasn't a lot of Swedish people doing videos in English. Of course, there was a few, but not as much as it is now. Okay, but you know what? I think I need to spray this face because I feel a little bit dry. And now my battery. So I will change the battery, <laughs> spray my face, and then I continue with this ramble that I don't even know what it is anymore. Okay, so I just decided to finish a little look off. I tried to do this new reverse cat eye thingy with a black shadow like here, but I don't know. I don't... Uh, maybe not to this look. So this is the finished look and I don't think that I have anything more to complain about. It feels like I only like complained from <laughs> the whole video. And somebody's driving a motorcycle or something outside. Jesus, I'm so tired of this. But yeah, that was some of my thoughts and some things that yeah bugs me then when it comes to YouTube and Swedish YouTubers and just... Mm -hmm the whole like community the only thing i can say i'm happy that i switched to english and i think i feel more at home than i ever would do on swedish youtube if i continue to speak swedish it's hard to know because yeah i haven't done it so i don't know but yeah i think that was all for this really strange get rid with me maybe i can take down my hair now just wanted it just wanted it out of the way when i was doing my base that was all for this video and about the look i don't know do i feel a little bit off in it yes i do is it because i tried to do reverse cat eye maybe i don't know but it just felt like it was a little bit like dirty i don't know maybe this green shade was a little bit too dark to have like the whole way i don't know I usually do that, but I don't know, I think it feels a little bit too, not too much, but a little bit not that good. Or maybe I'm just not used to have like this dark of an eye look because it was a while ago since I did it, I think. I don't know, maybe I should just stop talking. So yeah, it was all for this video, I really hope you liked it and it would be so fun to hear from my fellow Swedes why you decided to make my fellow Swedes that have an English channel to know why you choose to have it and I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!